All right, guys, my Rock 321 here, back with another video. I unretired the SR71 Blackbird with the dual engines. Put the engines in their right place. This has been rebuilt several times. I'm gonna give it another flight today. I did get a successful flight out of it the last time it flew. Unretired it just for you guys. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Use the discount code. Check the link in the bio and subscribe on Instagram and TikTok. So we're about to go. Going in five. Four, three, two, one. There we go. Twirl. Oh, parachute popped out of there quick. Coming down. Everything's attached. It worked. Cone still attached. Everything's there. SR-71 Blackbird twisted into the air. A little breeze out here today. Went great. Nice flight on the dual engines. Perfect. Touchdown. Yeah, we're gonna do a little walk here, guys. Get the SR-71 Blackbird. Pretty cool, nice flight, twisted into the air, winding around, winding around, but pretty good flight. Pretty good flight, guys. Auto Rocks 321. Hit that subscribe button. Use that discount code. The SR-71 is one of the SD's classics. I remember when they were out, like way back when I was getting into the hobby, um, I was a little scared. I was intimidated by the skill level three. <laughs> I was just too young, and like, no, I'm not gonna get that one. But now, it's a pretty easy rocket to build, no big deal. And there we go, another successful flight of the un unretired dual engine SR-71 Blackbird. Nice. Alright, so here we go. Nice, there we go. There we go, on the ground, landing on by that rock, fins are good. There's the two engines, both burnt. Ooh, got a little dinger there. A little, little, little crunch there, a little bit. But other than that, everything is good. Parachute stayed attached, everything's attached. I don't run wadding in this one, guys. I use this little piston piece. It's just one of the spacers for the, um, when you run a D engine to an E engine. Add one layer of tape and it slides, really nice. No, um, no wadding needed. And look at that, and the parachute's fine. I just pushed it right out. Perfect, perfect, perfect condition, nice. All right, guys, next up we have the Wolverine, the classic, classic Wolverine from many, many years ago. Flies on the, the mini engines, the 13 millimeters. It's an a, A10 3T motor. So we're going to send that one up right now. Let's check it out. All right, guys, here we go. Model Rock 321. Hit that subscribe button. Going in five, four, three, two, one. Oh, everything's up. Uh, Parachute, there we go. Parachute's tangled. <laughs> oh, there we go. Everything's kind of fluttering around. I think this fighting the wind. This is not the day for wing type rockets. Parachute got tangled. So let's see what we got. No, oh, the ejective still got wadding in there. Yeah, parachute got tangled. I don't know. Yeah, wadding still still inside the rocket but not bad not bad everything's kind of fighting the wind today fighting the wind all right guys mod rock 321 here if you haven't subscribed already be sure to hit that subscribe button be sure to check the SD's discount code on the screen right now we're about to fly the Estes strike fighter it's a very or very old rocket probably 1989 um, is when they first came out I believe um, real cool rocket, but it's kind of breezy today and all these ones with kind of like wing fins They're getting like pushed around a little bit. So I have a d16 4 FJ motor in here So we'll see how good a little more power might be able to power through the wind a little better. We shall see All right, that's the strike fire going in Where that plane at? I'm all nervous about planes All right, here we go going in three two one Ooh, there it is way up. Still see it. Parachute, it's out. Nice flight. Nice flight. Coming down over us and start walking. Start walking to get the strike fighter. Way up there. Coming down real good. Nice flight, best flight of the day. Kind of twisted in the air. I waited on the wind to die down a little bit. 
but we got a good one coming down. This was a nice flight on that D16 4 FJ motor. Way out here. This is going to be my longest walk. Getting the longest walk award today. Be sure to check the videos that's coming up on the end of this video. More flights. Oh yeah, it's my longest walk today, guys. This is my longest walk. Wow, that is way out there. That is, <laughs> man, I'm getting me a good, what? I don't know. It's going to be far, though. It's going to keep walking straight. Smile Rocks, three, two, one. All right, guys. So today, this is my longest walk to date, I'm sure. <laughs> I am way out here. Now, I was heading more off to the left of where the rocket was. But here it is. Here is the Strike Fighter. Landed way out here. Well, I had a nice flight on that D16 though. That was a nice flight. Did, did pretty good with that one. Did pretty good with that flight. So here we are. A little further than normal. Strike fighter kind of landed, cushioned itself in these little bushes. Nice. Nice flight. This rocket always does well, man. If you can find a strike fighter or a clone one, it's definitely worth it. Here we have a nice helicopter flying over. Let's check them out. All you aviation people. Check him out. I don't know what he is, but yeah, there he is. There he is. Well, here we are. Strike Fighter. Let's pack it up, guys. It's Model Rock 321. Thanks for joining me on another launch adventure. Let's see if it says it right there. Strike Fighter. <laughs> Join me on another adventure. More video content to come. Got myself a nice walk. Got some exercise today. <laughs> All right, guys. Model Rock 321. Subscribe to the videos, subscribe to the channel. I'm out, peace. All right, guys. So you just witnessed, witnessed a few flights. You saw three flights today. The SR-71 Blackbird Project X, which is right here. You saw the Strike Fighter and you saw the Wolverine. Very old rockets here. Um, Strike Fighter, was, I mean, the uh, SR-71, we'll start with that one. That was my two engine project. Both engines lit. It was a little breezy. It wiggled up in the sky, but it took off. It flew. Flew good enough. Suffered a little damage here on the end, but this is all repairable. I'm used to fixing this end right here. But all the rear section is good. Everything's solid here. No fins are broken. Both motors lit, as you saw. I took the tail cone out. That should be... I had, had it sitting somewhere. I'll see it now. Had a tail cone. That was for the rear deployment, but it's just traveling too fast. Everything I tried, it ripped off in previous launches. You can find those videos on this channel as well of the crashes but it works now with the engines the gas is traveling forward going across and pushing the nose cone off and parachute comes out the top um it was a good flight overall landed a little scuff there i just noticed them um, hit hard on some rocks but sr-71 project x flew well i'm gonna pull these engines out for you guys yeah they're just friction fit engines on um, no engine hook in these nozzles it works man it works this can really be a project that anybody can do if you get a blackbird i got some nose weight up front i forget how much but the two engines in the rear it works put them in their place you have to build a conduit across put a wall in here so the gases don't travel the other way they go forward only and they'll go across nowhere to go push your nose cone off so um with that being said yep here's my two c65 engines there's one and let me get this other one out of here get the tape I used friction fit, but I did add a little bit of tape around the outside also just to hold them in there really good. Make sure you don't want no motors coming out. But there they are. They both kicked out. Got a little engine dirt coming out of these. But yeah, it went well. Um, Project X, I unretired it for that flight. And um, everything went good. So I'm just going to do these repairs here and have it ready for some more flights. It's going to be like a flyer. I think I'm going to fly this one again. A little breezy. Like I said, it wiggled like doing some weathercocking. It curved. Curved and kind of spiraled into the air, had a faster spiral than the, the standard version. If you see the last launch video I did, I flew my standard one and had a nice slow curve, slow roll, and it arched over also, but that was um, the way these fly, so it's pretty good. Next up, we're going to look at the, let's look at the Wolverine. Had a kind of a weird flight. It was a windy day. Everything was kind of like wing type designs. They, they were getting squirrely. This I've seen fly really straight. That breeze that was out there today um, gave flights a little. These type of rockets with 
somewhat lower thrust. Gave him a little, a little issue, a little issue. I think this motor gets stuck in here, but I'm gonna try to get it out. Yeah, flew this one. This this rocket's from way back in the days. It flies on 13 millimeter. I flew it on the A10 3T. Here's your standard um, C65 engine. A, B, or C it has this side, 18 millimeter. Here's a 13 millimeter. Little mini engines. But if this one landed without, let me see if I'm stuck. This one landed without the parachute fully deploying. I didn't understand that. Everything was good. It just wanted to stay together. And all the wadding didn't come out. So, I don't know. Okay flight, I guess. Landed. Nothing broke. It's light enough where it just, just gave it enough drag, I guess, where nothing would, would break on that ground. So, it was fine. It had a cloudy sky day. It was kind of clouds everywhere. But everything stayed below the clouds, so I didn't have to worry about that. And I was checking the sky, making sure we were good to launch um so pretty much a good a nice a nice day of flights you know nothing too nothing too bad happens so there's the wolverine very very old rocket old sd's rocket you can look these up i forget which catalog but they're from if the early 70s or late 60s this is a very old rocket somebody may know better than me I have, i've seen it in catalogs i have so it's a very old one last up we have the strike fighter flew the best of the day this was the winner on a D16 4FJ composite motor. Gives off that black city smoke as you saw. Very nice motor, very nice rocket. Super stable, it went true and straight. Straight into the wind, everything. It was kind of breezy and it just barreled on up, went up there. Gave me the longest walk ever. <laughs> as you probably saw me, heard me talking about that. This one gave me the longest walk. But it's an old workhorse. It's very old and weathered, I like it. Just as it is, I'm not going to restore it. I love it the way it is. Like the paint's kind of crackly. I mean, I don't know if you can see that crackly looking paint. It's like an old warbird. Cool. So the Strike Fighter was the last of the day. Everything went well. Everything went good overall. Um, No nose dives, no crashes. No, you know, had the one Wolverine kind of fell out the sky. But everything went pretty good, guys. It's Model Rock 321. Be sure to subscribe. Use the discount code over at, S discount code over at Estes. Put the code in, get yourself a nice discount. Um, buy something. Buy something. Also, check my links in the bio. I have modelrocks321.com, the website. Um, the code's also on there. Some other stuff's on there. I start adding to it. I want to do a vlog and get that going. Um, that being said, um, I want to shut it down. Shut it down right here. So stay tuned. Subscribe. Be sure to ring the bell notification so when I drop a new video, um, you'll be the first to see it. And be sure to share the channel. Share on Model Rocks 321 Anybody you know is into rocketry, share it with them. I don't mind that. All right, guys, gonna get out of here. Model Rock 321, I'm out.